Hey there, and uh, welcome to the first of the Rogue Scarlet uh, tutorials for Red Workflows that I'm wanting to do. I'm going to kind of start off uh, pretty basic and then uh, get more advanced as we go through uh, a few different things. Uh, so hopefully uh, some people will find this useful. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, eject the SSD or compact flash card from your red camera. And you're going to want to take it over to your computer and plug it into either the SSD Red Mag Reader or the Compact Flash uh, Reader, whichever one applies. At this point, if you haven't downloaded Red Cine, uh, head over to red.com, go to their downloads area, and download Red Cine from their website and install it. Once you do that, you'll have a little icon at the top called Red Watchdog that watches for any red mags that are inserted into your computer. So at this point, you need to take your card, SSD or compact flash card, and insert it into your red card reader in your computer. Once you insert the card, it'll pop up on your desktop, and you can see a little notification saying there's a red mag mounted. By default, they're mounted as read-only drives. <clears throat> this is to protect your data so that you can't accidentally delete footage. Uh, if you need to modify the files on your... Uh, SSD or compact flash card, you can just go in here and have it remounted as a read or write. Anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is copy the footage off of your card onto a folder onto a hard drive. The easiest way to do this is to just drag it through the finder. Uh, it's not the safest way. I'll kind of show you a little different way here in a second that's a little bit safer uh, that'll kind of check to make sure your data has copied over successfully. So the first thing you want to do, I've made this uh, folder here called SD Fashion Shoot. This was a shoot we did in uh, La Jolla, California. And we shot with a couple different uh, cameras. We shot with an XM4 aerial helicopter, RC aerial helicopter. Uh, and we also shot with a red camera. So I have my red folder here. Uh, so I'm going to double click on that. As you can see, it's empty right now. What I'll do is just grab my files off of my magazine and drag them. I'm going to make a folder called A105 because that is my the name of my mag. I'm not going to put the other uh, additional characters in there at this time because the project is small enough uh, to where I'm not going to have repeating A105 mags. So I will start that folder and then get this uh, these files copying over. Uh, you can pull just the RDM folder over. I like to pull everything uh, just because it's easy and it's out of habit. All right, so that's finished downloading to my hard drive. So right now I want to show you the other way to copy this media over that's a little bit safer. It does take a little bit longer. But if you're doing something that's uh, a big job or has important files and you want to make sure that everything is copied over completely, you'll want to get a program called R3D Data Manager. Now, this program has actually been discontinued. Uh, there's a new version of this called Double Data that's more of a module system. And you can copy and uh, check files from either RED cameras or ARRI Alexa at this point. Uh, and I think they're planning on adding more cameras in the future. But I have had R3D Data Manager, and that's what I use. And it works essentially the same. It runs a checksum to make sure all the ones and zeros are the same once they've been copied over to your hard drive. To use this, what you'll want to do is just select your source folder. In this case, my source folder is going to be my red mag. And I will select that. Hit open. <clears throat> you can do multiple ones if you have multiple red mag readers connected. Uh, in this case, it's only one. So the next thing you'll want to do is select a destination. I'm going to select my for or my folder that we just went to, and yeah, it's out of order. Okay, so we're going to go in here, uh, select this, and then select my mag, and this is the same location that we just copied to via the finder. We just navigated to here inside the R3D Data Manager program. So select that, that'll be your source. You have three different types of checksums you can run. Once it's done copying, it will check all the data to make sure that everything matches up. The, it does it in a different way if you want to see information on exactly what it does and where to use the different type of checksums, you can look up uh, information on this website, the R3 data man, uh, R3D Data Manager website. Uh, for the most part, you just want to use this MD5. It is the fastest way to do a checksum. It is 
not as reliable as the other ones, but for most everything, uh, especially daily, just pulling footage off, this is great. If you have really important stuff you wanna archive, then you can go up to the SHA 256, which is gonna take a lot longer, but then you can be really sure that all of your data is properly copied over. Uh, anyway, just uh, once you're done, hit start copy and that will copy everything over. I'm not going to do that because we are, got everything over already. And also another kind of cool function of R3D Data Manager is you can add multiple destinations and do your backup and your copy at the same time, which is pretty handy, uh, especially if you're on set, trying to get things copied and backed, off, uh, backed up fast. Um, in this case, uh, the next step you'd do is um, just back up your data if you hadn't done it already in the R3D Data Manager. What you'd want to do is just grab your whole folder of footage and back it up to a, another drive at this point. After that is done, uh, you'll need to get into Red Cine and start coloring. Actually, you can eject your card at this, at this point so you don't have that on your computer anymore.